He's Eric. And she's Kat. And, and this, this is, is Pop, Pop Filter. Filter. Welcome to Pop Filter, where we filter out the mainstream down to the geeky news, reviews, views, and interviews you can use. Today's topic... Wrestling, which I have no idea what it's about. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we have a special guest here with us today. Derek, the editor Derek. of All Ages of Geek. Yes. <laughs> welcome. <laughs> Please give him a warm welcome and thank him very much for making us sound good. He yes. is the magic behind the microphone. There you go. Uh, so that's what I am now. <laughs> <laughs> that's what engineers are. That's they are magic. Uh, they are wizards. Yep. They they. I always thought I was just some guy in the background. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I always say yeah. in a voiceover, it's a three-legged stool. You've got the engineer, the director, yep. and the actor. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I guess so, right? Like, um, because you need, you need that guy who knows how to make it, make it sound good. I mean, if you, yeah, did, if exactly. you didn't have editors and you just let the videos flow as they usually do, how cringy <laughs> would that be? I'm like, oh, wait, what? Oh. Would be clap, horrible. clap, what? Wait, what's going on? What? <laughs> All those lip smacks. Yep. That, yeah, that yeah. Stuff that, all, 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 all that weird noises you make with your lips. Are... We're discussing human beings. Yeah. So. <laughs> Fact. Uh, the microphone uh, just amplifies that. Yep. Us. I know. Uh, that's what um. That's what that's what I kind of learned after a while, like like speaking behind a microphone, where it's like, don't drink coffee because yeah. your your mouth makes weird noises. Oh. oh God, yeah. <laughs> Green apples. Green apples yeah, 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 yeah. That's the thing. Like, yeah, green apples was what I heard. That mm -hmm. you know, take one bite. That's so weird. Why Very though? Good. Like, I know this isn't the uh, topic of the, the day, but is it right. <laughs> the acidity? Uh, of something it? in the acidity, of, yeah, of the apple will cancel out whatever wow. mouth crud you got. That's funny. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Any 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 have, aspiring go to yeah have. any aspiring voiceover artists out there? Don't eat green apple like green apples. <laughs> no eat. Eat, eat green apples. Green apples. Oh, eat them. Apples. I thought you said don't eat yeah. them. Okay. No, no, no. They cancel out the acidity, so they, oh, they take out the lip smack. So no coffee yeah, yeah. and yes to, yeah, no, to no, apples. No okay. coffee. Just just, yep. just drink water. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Lots of water. Water. Yep. <laughs> Are you saying New Jersey? Water. <laughs> water. <laughs> water. We don't drink water in New Jersey. We drink water. We like in water in Jersey. <laughs> All right, I drink so plenty of water. I gotta keep hydrated. <laughs> yeah, from the fire hydrant. From the, from the fire hydrant. Oh my god, I drink the... water. <laughs> from the fire hydrants that just explode water all the time. <laughs> Yo, that fire hydrant on Toity Toit Street, it's just uh, got a lot of water coming out of it. Oh okay, so Have you seen wait, that? this is. I've just offended so yeah. many New Jersey yeah. people, I'm sure, and lost <laughs> so many fans. It's fine, so. it's fine, it's toxic in New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we are we are railing hard on New Jersey. Heck We're cutting yeah. a promo. Okay, like, let's... For real, though, if you watch Steven Universe and you've ever seen that episode, I mean, I put it on mainly yeah. all my... Yeah, <laughs> even Steven, the cute bean, is literally saying that New Jersey ain't a good place to be. Let's uh, veer the ship into Ritalin Bay. Let me see if I can segue this. Well, Jersey is actually really good for wrestling, you know? <laughs> really? Yeah. Really? Yeah, really? I know a lot That's of people it. have been it's even... my masterful transition. Yeah, yeah there you go, yeah. Eric. Fantastic. Go. Everyone here is ADHD, so we need some kind of <laughs> fantastic transitions. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. Segues. Yeah. <sighs> but yes... Yes. I'm tearing yes. up. I mean, I, I've heard from a lot of people on Discord, too. I mean, they're, they all want to come to Jersey because they want to go and see the wrestling happening. Even though... Oh, I, yeah, yeah. And why, though? Why does it happen? Why is it mm -hmm. big in Jersey? Like... The East Coast was a huge hub for wrestling mm -hmm. back in the days. It was back in what were known as the territory days, mm -hmm. where, or the territorial days, where uh, you'd have a wrestling promotion in, like, upper New York. You'd have a wrestling promotion down in Florida. This was before TV syndicated all these shows, and, and you had wrestling on, on local channels and mm -hmm. everything. Or, well, you did have wrestling on local channels, but it was your local wrestling channel. Yeah. So you didn't get to see what was going on up in New York or, or in Texas. It was all territorial, and you had your specific stars located to those territories that would kind of raise the prestige of it. Yeah. So, like, Andre the Giant was was a northeastern draw, and they would kind of rent him out to the other territories, but he was mainly based up in New York. Um, so Jersey was definitely a big hub for that back yeah. in the day. Yeah. Jersey was a huge, huge avenue for wrestling. And it still is, even though it's like, still hey, is. if if anybody's want to come to Jersey, the only good thing you're gonna find there is probably wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> wrestling, maybe some fire hydrants. Yeah, 
peeing fire hydrants. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But that sounds yeah. like a good time. Yeah. I mean, Eric, what are you a part of with wrestling that you want to tell everybody? <laughs> well, I actually am a wrestler. Yay! And yes. Yay! Uh, yay! It's it's a <laughs> lot of fun. I I've likened it to basically a live theater stunt show with a choreographed ballet mixed in one. That is so... I mean, I've seen some of the crazy clips that you post on Twitter. I'm like, how do you... Okay, Mm -hmm. okay, okay. Wrestling question. We'll start here. Yes. Mm -hmm. How the heck do you not get hurt? (laughs) That's the thing. You do. You do? Because I've seen some of the clips you post, and I'm like, how are you not snapping your neck? Like... Uh, <laughs> carefully learning how to fall is yeah. essentially how I can describe it. Okay. Uh, we take, whenever we're hitting the mats, yeah. uh, it's called taking a bump. So whenever I am thrown about like that, mm-hmm. the thing is with the mat is it's it's basically about an inch of foam on top of a few centimeters of plywood, like straight wood. Ow. Just, mm-hmm. On top of a few uh, steel banisters. So that's basically all we're... It's Ow. got a bit of a give to it. It's got a bit of a give to it in the center. So there's a bit of a bounce and a, gi- a bit of a give back. Some mm-hmm. slack when you take it. But people keep telling me, oh, you do that. It's, it's so fake, right? I'm like, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah try, try faking having a yeah. six-foot person pick you up and drop you onto an inch of, of foam and tell me how fake that is. Because yeah. you can't fake gravity. Have you ever gotten like any like major injuries from doing what you do? As a wrestler, yeah, and actually, actually during training, uh-huh. and it was a little bit embarrassing. Like I, uh, I, it was the third week in, uh-huh. and we were practicing arm drags, <laughs> which is just basically you get your left arm hooked under their left arm, fall back, and just kind of drag them forward, and they'll do a forward. <laughs> oh my roll. god! Mm-hmm. I messed up the footing badly uh-huh. and uh, buckled under my right leg, and my whole body weight just landed on top of my right leg. Oh, my God. And <sighs> snapped it, essentially. Uh. Like, sprained it. Sn- snapped my leg from my ankle up to my kneecap. Ow. And it was just... You don't, mess, you don't miss with the knees. You do not miss with the knees. No, like, yeah. but that's, what, that's what gets me. That's what's embarrassing about it is I, <laughs> I hurt my leg giving... An arm drag. I wasn't even the one taking the move, and the move wasn't even on the leg. Oh, that sounds so painful. Wrestling confessions with Eric. Yeah, that's a special mess up. (laughs) It's a Mm -hmm. face palm moment. Mm -hmm. Thankfully, it was only like a two week yeah injury or a two month injury. Like I recovered yeah Mm -hmm. after that. Yeah. But let me ask you guys, uh, do you have any exposure to wrestling? Like, how minimal it may be for you, Katya? But, um, like, I know The Rock. Have... <laughs> <laughs> Everybody knows him. <laughs> Everybody knows The Rock. Everybody knows. Yeah, I really didn't ever get into wrestling because I never saw the fascination until you told me recently, Eric, that it's mm-hmm. kind of related to anime. Like, there's a huge, like, crossover between the two. Very, very much so, and uh, I don't know how much I can reveal about the wrestling world without being, like, the masked magician or Mm -hmm. something. Mm -hmm. But I can tell you that a lot of the the storytelling techniques they use in wrestling and anime are very similar. Mm -hmm. They use a lot of the same kind of, we call it ring psychology, like Mm -hmm. how to get the audience behind the good guy and boo the bad guy Mm -hmm. through just actions just through the the course of the match and anime does that so well they oh, yeah. follow the steps of ring psychology giving the good guy a bit of a shine to make us want to cheer him mm. and cutting him off in a cheap way to make us really hate the bad guy yeah uh hope spots and everything you can see employed in stuff like dragon ball z mm. dragon ball z is basically oh, just yeah. wrestling oh actually <laughs> now that i think about it you're right oh my god you're right <laughs> <laughs> I think there's a uh, YouTuber, Bennett the Sage, who did a really Mm. good uh, comparison. There was an old Japanese wrestler called Ricky Dozon. Uh And Mm. what he would do is he would always introduce a friend of his to wrestle the big bad of the day, the big Uh baddie of the day. And his friend would go in and get a little bit of shine, but then suddenly he'd be knocked pillar to post. He'd just be thrown around by the bad guy until eventually Ricky Dozon just runs in and mm-hmm. saves the day. He was the greatest hero wow. of Japanese media. And in fact, he has like the highest rated Japanese uh, wrestling match still to this day. Oh, wow. <laughs> I need yeah. to see that. 
but if that sounds any familiar, it's uh-huh. because Ricky Dozon is just basically Goku. Yeah. His friend goes in, <laughs> gets p- knocked pillar to post until he comes in to save the day. Wow. wow. Okay. Huh. I can totally see the comparison now. But you're yeah. right, though. Like, now that I think about it, Dragon Ball Z is basically wrestling. Mm-hmm. <laughs> They're all cutting promos on each other. I'm going yeah. to get you. <laughs> no, I'm going to get you. <laughs> well, let me tell you something, brother. <laughs> Oh man, but how about you, uh, Derek? Where, where that, you? Yeah, what was your? Uh, I, I don't know. I, no, I'm just thinking about that. Where it's like, wow, that's almost that's kind of true. Yeah. Where um, yeah, yeah and Dragon Ball kind of be talking, but like, I am the light. <laughs> 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 oh man, but um, for me, um, I I guess um, I guess I, I I've always um, watched wrestling as a kid. Mm. Um. And I, <laughs> I, 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 I told Katja about this um, a couple of days ago, actually, about um, that um, me and my brother used to um, used to play wrestling when we were kids. Oh yeah. And um, and <laughs> same actually with my brother. <laughs> yeah, and um, and there's, there's so many stories to tell about it. Is that um, well, <laughs> one, one, there was a ladder involved. <laughs> um, <laughs> yes, ladder match. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Like, like, like. Um, I don't know. Like I remember this one time, we got like a bunch of guys all together. Uh, we were just kids, um, our cousins and stuff like that. And then we had this trampoline. <laughs> oh gosh! <laughs> and then we had a a Royal Rumble match where everybody was on a trampoline, trying to knock each other off the trampoline. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, that was that That's time. Safe. And then and then we had uh we had these these titles where uh they were on the um the clothesline. For for the clothing, so then we, we so we, so that we so we put the titles on there, and then the trampoline would be below, and then everybody would wrestle, and then whoever jumps and grabs the tr- uh, the, the the title wins. Oh my gosh! <laughs> that sounds so dangerous and so familiar. <laughs> and, 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 okay. uh, it, it's that... dangerous, but a lot of fun. <laughs> Yes, yes, and again, it sounds so familiar. No. I have very fond memories of doing very similar things. Oh I don't my think god! We ever did the pose line, but that's actually pretty ingenious. Yeah, and my younger self is jealous for that idea and <laughs> thanking me Eric, for not doing Eric, it. Eric, you can always do it. It's you're never too old to do that. <laughs> no, no, I'm wrestling now. I should, that's I should true. That's true. Ladder match. I should just. I could just do a real ladder there match. There you go. Well. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just watch your head. <laughs> Yeah, we got low ceilings at our venue, so it'd be more like a Fisher Price ladder. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little plastic, uh, like a little plastic, yeah. like, like yeah. two steps. Oh my um, god! Stool. My, yeah. my closest thing to any of that would be my sisters pushing me down the stairs or on a bean bag <laughs> and me tumbling down, and or like my sister tying a rope around my leg and pulling me around oh the backyard. Still have the scar to that. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> That does not sound oh, yeah. safe. I'm, I'm the oldest, but <laughs> I'm the shortest, so it kind of goes to show, like... <laughs> it's funny. Funny how, That's like... That's kind of be my brother, too. <laughs> yeah. Four years older, he towers, and I'm just like, dude, why didn't you get into wrestling? You could have tagged him for <laughs> oh. no other. We could have been the next Hardy Boys. Yeah. Right? <laughs> oh, man. I love I, I loved the Hardy Boys. They, they were um, my heroes growing oh, up. Oh, yeah. Same here. They, uh... <laughs> They're, they're they're the reason why I jumped off that ladder. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, the reason I started doing flips off of uh, off of diving boards, off my dad's boat, like wow, yeah, <laughs> yeah. they were the greatest. Yeah, okay, so like... okay, questions for you guys, since you know like, basically everything mm-hmm. about wrestling, like with the stunts and everything. Are there any like really crazy stunts that people do that are any of your favorites? Oh my god, that you would love to do, yeah. basically. Oh. Um, uh, have you uh, have you seen the the uh, what Shane McMahon did on Hell in a Cell? Oh God, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, so the Hell in a Cell. Let's yeah. set the scenario here: is a sixteen yeah. foot steel cage structure over and around the ring. Oh my God! So essentially, mm-hmm. yeah. it is sixteen foot tall. It's cages on the outside of the ring and a cage roof that they will often climb up to the top of in the middle yeah. of the match. Oh my lord. <laughs> like a 
like a like like some some like I guess like it's usually like near the like the climax of the match anyways too. Right? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or they... in the case of like one of the originals, it was the beginning of the match. But <laughs> <laughs> we'll get to that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> mankind. Oh, the classic. <laughs> That was a classic match. That's that's a match Respect. I'm gonna send to you, Katya. I don't yeah. know how. I don't know what if you're squeamish at all. When uh, it comes to oh, I'm not. I can handle anything. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Any- <laughs> we'll see about this one. Okay. This is- I can handle brutal. anything. <laughs> <laughs> this is brutal, and this is uh, like the match I'm gonna we're gonna describe. At, okay. Well, first describe the Shane McMahon thing that you were yeah. talking about. Yeah. 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 Uh, so, like he said, Shane McMahon. Uh, had a very interesting spot we call them like mm. moment yeah. uh yeah. in the match at the top of the cell 16 foot high he drops doing an elbow drop onto what onto an announce table which hopefully had padding been do- below it oh or, mm-hmm. my he just god and um, drops <laughs> straight to the table so yeah. wait like just straight down right down straight to down. the table like yeah. how the heck did he do that did he put his body weight on that like how how well, he just drops. He he oh. he looks down. He does the um the whole um Catholic thing where he's like you know like the, the Catholic cross. Mm-hmm. He crosses yeah, himself. Yeah, yeah. 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 He, he he does a Catholic thing uh-huh. and then he looks down and then he jumps. Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Leap of faith. And, 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 there you go. And mind you, mm-hmm. mind you, he did this multiple times too, right? Yeah, throughout his career. Yeah. He's known for jumping off of tall things. Yeah, Has yeah. he ever broken anything by jumping off of tall things? I think concussion, but I don't think he's ever really oh broken. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, because uh, he did have a concussion with mm-hmm. um, Kurt Angle, right? With the um, the glass? Yeah. 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 The, um, that apparently, was... Yeah, apparently the glass didn't break. <gasps> so, oh. so um, there was there was a plain glass that was supposed to be sugar glass, and mm-hmm. uh, it was Kurt Angle versus Shane McMahon. Yeah. And, and it wasn't sugar like, glass. No. Oh! <laughs> yeah. Dang it! <laughs> Yeah. So yeah. Kurt Angle does a belly to belly suplex, like throws Shane over his head uh, backwards, and yeah. Shane upside down uh, crashes into the glass and falls to his head. Yeah. And gets concussed. And as Kurt is picking him up, like, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Shane was like, do it again. <laughs> <laughs> it's um, oh sure enough, God. Kurt Kurt does it yeah. and does it harder oh. and throws him straight through this real glass. Yeah. Oh yeah. my god. Did he have glass like stuck in him? Thankfully, no. Okay. Oh yeah, my god. Luckily, yeah. How thick was the glass? Not very thick. Okay. It was just like they just didn't temper it the way they should. Have. Oh my people. Yeah, because oh. um, because it, it it was supposed it was supposed to break um as soon as he throws them into it, but it didn't. So. Oh my god. Ow. Okay, so, so a lot can go wrong in wrestling. Yeah. So those yeah. Talk, talk as, about uh, the squeamish thing. I mean, we'll say yeah. disclaimer. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, Disclaimer. In whenever something goes wrong like that, it's called a botch. Uh-huh. And yeah. um, thankfully, I haven't had too many detrimental botches. Uh-huh. I had, like, I, you mentioned earlier, are there any moves that I would like to yeah. do that I uh, see, like, really flippy stuff? Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> I'd like to do a shooting star press, which is essentially from the top rope, you do a backflip moving forward. So you're yeah. facing Whoa. forward, do a backflip going forward, and land. Uh, on top of them in kind of a crossbody mm. press, like a wow. splash. Yep. Um, I can do backflips off of the second rope and mm. like lion salts. Anything I can springboard myself off of the ropes. They're pretty springy, so I can pretty get. A, I can get a good backflip, but yeah. the ropes can be a little slippery. So I tried a lion salt uh-huh. at one match recently, which is essentially you jump to the second rope. You're facing the ropes. You jump, feet land on the second rope, and just kind of spring yourself back into a backflip and land on top of them. Cool. Mm-hmm. And I've been able to do that for a while. Uh-huh. But that's this very, one um, match, oh. it's Chris Jericho's, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what, that's what, <laughs> yep. yeah I was going to say salt. that. Yeah. Uh, so I was about to do that in a match, but my footing didn't get <gasps> right on there. And I felt it as soon as my footing landed on the ropes. And I, instead of trying to arch my back and scorpion myself, because mm-hmm. that's actually how a famous wrestler died, is doing that exact move Ooh. and messing it up. So as soon as I landed on the ropes, I was just like, do not got this fall backwards, botch this. Just let it happen. Yes. Because mm-hmm. I do not want to. You don't want no dying, Eric. <laughs> no dying. Yeah. yeah. That's the scary thing about this. It's like the higher risk, the, uh, yeah. you know, that's the, that's the high risk. It's like some of the Sometimes. moves are cool, but it's like, is it worth it at the same time? Yeah, and that's what scares me about the indie market nowadays. Is mm. that, and I think this is a common thing going around. Um, 
the indie market needs to be big and flashy now to yeah. draw an audience because mm-hmm. they've seen everything before. So people are pulling out these, these big moves and these big flips, and they're trying to outdo themselves. Mm-hmm. And it's getting to a scary point. Yeah. And, I'm I open. mean, my opinion should be, like, they should focus more on the acting rather than the moves. I mean, like... Well, yeah, they should focus on the story. If, yeah. If the, if, the, yeah. if the move doesn't make sense in yeah. the context of the story, like, why are you... If he's down on the ground, why are you picking him back up just to do this flash... Mm-hmm. Excuse me. This flashy move, just mm-hmm. pin him, and you can do that move later if it's properly set up. Yeah. It's, yeah. Uh, <laughs> It's a scary so anyway, world now. <laughs> yeah, squeamish. Yeah. Now that so, we're getting onto the squeamish topic. Yeah, oh, since God. we're talking about things that can go <laughs> wrong in wrestling, let's talk about the match where everything went wrong and yet everything <laughs> aligned <laughs> so right. This is the match that many people will say is one of their favorites. It mm-hmm. is one of the most memorable and classic matches of WWE history. Mm-hmm. Hell in a Cell, 1997, King of the Ring, Mankind versus The Undertaker. Yep. This is only the second Hell in a Cell match ever mm-hmm. put together. The first one was Undertaker versus Shawn Michaels, which didn't have any top cell incidents or anything like that, <laughs> Mankind, known for Mick Foley, known for being a daredevil, decides, I'm going to start this match on top of the cell. Oh, for the love of God. <laughs> yep. So as soon as, the, as soon as he comes down the ring, he just climbs to the top of the cell and waits for the Undertaker. Undertaker comes down, says, I accept this challenge, walks to the top of the cell. They have a bit of a squabble up there, hitting each other with chairs. Uh, the Seriously, like, there's a really loud chair slap from Mankind. Oh, man. Wonderful. <laughs> he uh, walks over the They both walk over the cell. It looks like to buckle a little bit. Mm-hmm. And they get over to the edge, right over the announcer's table. And Mankind says, throw me. Oh my and god! <laughs> from the yeah. top of the cell, this is the first time this has ever happened in WWE history. Undertaker grabs Mankind and just basically... Uh, I can't say it because the wrestling move is not PG-13 called. Mm-hmm. It's, it's not. He S-cans him, essentially. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, shiitake cans him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and throws him off the top of the cell 16 feet below on top of the, te- the announcer table. Oh and my god. There was... Nobody was prepared for that. That was not gimmicked. Like, the announcer table didn't have any padding on it or anything. Nobody set up for that. So. Oh, and no one knew they were going to do that at all? No one knew they were oh going to do that at God. all. The announcers are just sitting there, and suddenly this 300-pound Mick Foley comes <laughs> crashing down from uh, out of the air. Oh, my God. There's, but that's not the end of it. Oh, they no. They are trying to stretcher him out because he is broken. Yeah. And he, halfway up the ramp, gets off the stretcher and just starts <laughs> walking back down and climbs the cell what again the heck? to meet the Undertaker on top. They continue wrestling. Mm-hmm. Undertaker choke slams him on top of the cell <gasps> and the bottom and the and the cell breaks and he <gasps> falls another again! 16 feet below yeah. to the <laughs> ring to the center of the ring with a chair <gasps> falling and smacking him on the face with him. <gasps> oh my god! Breaking off three tooth three teeth. It's not over yet. Oh, it's no! no. <laughs> It's not even over yet. (laughs) Undertaker comes down trying to finish the match, trying to pin him just to say, for the love of God, stay down so we can end this. Mick Foley's like, nope, I'm going to do more. Oh, my God. Mick Foley goes under the ring, grabs a burlap sack. Oh, my God. Reaches into the burlap sack and sprinkles on the ground thumbtacks. What? Oh, wait, wait, wait. What is wrong with him? (laughs) Thumbtacks. Uh. He dumps an entire oh bag of thumbtacks onto the ground, so the ring is covered in thumbtacks. <gasps> no! <laughs> and he gets slammed into them at least three times. Oh. A bed of thumbtacks, and they're sticking out of him like hundreds. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> you, uh, we, I will send you this match, and okay. I don't know if we can like do gifs of it can we do it we should just do a reaction like an episode do an i'll do a re- i'll send yeah. it to you and you should react yeah. to this yeah you should definitely do a reaction oh, to god. oh my god so they it was just the thumbtacks were inside of him just just sticking in there yep just sticking in him mm-hmm. oh like hundreds my of them. and okay question how the heck did he get those out did he have to get them surgically removed or did he just figure to pull them out himself no they're thumbtacks so they're not you know deep yeah they oh my they w- Okay, I, I like, used the okay, I but the thing is I use them text to hang up some of my signs for my set. <laughs> it hurts they, when when they, they prick do, you. Yeah. Like 
Just that they're probably like very shallow, very thin thumbtacks, oh. maybe gimmicked a little bit, but they did stick out of him. They did stick to him. Oh my yeah. god! And was he was he okay after that? Was he like okay? I'm done after this. No, he wrestled for another like ten years after that. No, I mean after that with that match, like was he done? Oh, he was done. Okay. <laughs> he, was, he goes backstage and Vince McMahon looks at him and goes, "I appreciate what you have just done for me this evening, but I never want to see that again." <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yeah, but my, my question for you guys is, okay, like, they can take things underneath, like, the ring. Like, what is underneath that ring? I know they have chairs sometimes, <laughs> but do they, what do they have under there? Tables, That's... ladders, and chairs. Oh, my. Um, yeah. Hornswoggle. Hornswoggle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, like, sitting here while they're geeking out about this. <laughs> Hornswoggle is, uh... Oh is my their god! Leprechaun wrestler. Yeah, <laughs> always dressed in like a leprechaun. Nice. And always hiding yep. under the ring. Yep. And he doesn't talk. He just laughs. Nope. He just runs. <laughs> really? And people. Yeah. Yeah. He's he a leprechaun. Just, cool. Yeah. He just he just he just chases people. <laughs> I love the swag. He's amazing. Does he win? Yeah. Does he ever win? Actually, <laughs> yeah. He w- he won the cruiserweight title. Nice. Yeah. And yeah. didn't he win WLC against? Uh... <laughs> I forget, was it against uh, uh, Toro or El Toro or El Torito? I think so. Um, they had like a, a Wii LC, a table a, a table ladder and chair match, a TLC, but it, yeah, like, Wii people. Yeah. <laughs> and um, I think, uh, I think wasn't there like a like a Royal Rumble one too? Uh, yeah, something like that. How yeah. many are there? Like, I, okay, I know WWE, I know Raw. Like, is that the same? How many? See, I'm like, I'm... <laughs> So bad. <laughs> well, WWE is the main syndicated program. Okay, mm-hmm. and there's and there's so many different like events going around wrestling. Like, what do they have to uh, what do yeah. they have to get up to get to the championship type thing? Like to get the belt. Um, <laughs> well, that's just a matter of booking, okay. honestly. That's a matter of how strong your character is booked. Okay, basically, basically, just be Roman Reigns. Yeah. <laughs> Basically. Just be Roman Reigns. Yeah, there are a lot of different promotions. There's uh, mm-hmm. WWE. There's uh, They're the main one. Mm-hmm. Um, in Japan, you got uh, NJPW, New Japan Pro Wrestling, which is their main one. Mm-hmm. Uh, over here, the more indie circuit, I'd say. Uh, not so indie, but we have <laughs> Ring of Honor. We have uh, Pro Wrestling Gorilla. Mm-hmm. Um, I like the name. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, they have all these different promotions that have their own specific rosters. WWE, of course, is the main one because mm-hmm. they've been running the longest and have the most exposure with like inter- international syndication and yeah. television contracts and stuff like that. But there's some competition rising, and the big one that just came out is called AEW, yep. mm-hmm. All Elite Wrestling. And they're going to be based out of Jacksonville, Florida. They look to be providing some stiff competition to WWE, mm-hmm. hopefully. Mm-hmm. And it's run by a couple of my favorite wrestlers in the world, uh, Kenny Omega, Cody Rhodes, the son of the legendary Dusty Rhodes, and, mm-hmm. of course, the Young Bucks, the two, the greatest tag team in the world today. <laughs> so with tag teams, I mean, like, mm-hmm. like, do they are they able to verse, like, one person at a time, or do they have to, like, verse... Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so yeah. it's one person, so it's two versus two, one person's out on the apron from each team and one Mm. person in the ring. They just wrestle each other until they can get an upper hand or they get tired out, and then they'll tag their partner out. The partner. Uh, Okay. Okay. But you just basically have to get one pinfall on the other team. It Mm -hmm. doesn't matter who pins who. It's just one pinfall on the other team, and that team wins. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I've heard some, like, good heartfelt stories about wrestling. Like, there was a recent, um, like, a New Jersey article that I read in the newspaper. (laughs) (laughs) It was all about how this kid went from, he was doing drugs and everything, and then he went from that to doing wrestling, and wrestling basically saved his life. Like, he was, yeah. he was like, arrested so many times he, before he was, like, 18. When he was 13 years old, he started, uh-huh. like, he st- first he went from selling gummy bears to selling, like, drugs to people. And, wow. and then what happened was when he turned 18, he started to realize, like, I really have to change my life because now I can start getting arrested, going to prison and everything. So then he started to do wrestling and it, say, it basically changed his whole life. It's like it lets him take out his anger and everything. Wow. I will admit, like, it's, it's a good outlet. Mm-hmm. I have had many a bad day where I've gone to wrestling class and, yeah. and felt like I've just gotten a therapy session. Wow. <laughs> It's very cathartic. Mm-hmm. And I bet. In fact, that's the whole yeah. It's the whole reason I actually even got into wrestling is because I was kind of going through a bad time mm-hmm. myself 
just kind of love life issues mm-hmm. and dealt with a really bad breakup at that time. And most people decide to destroy their bodies after a breakup yeah. with mm-hmm. ice cream and, yeah. and junk food <laughs> and whatnot. I decided, you know what, I'm going to destroy my body a different way and yeah. <laughs> have a creative outlet with it. Yeah. So it's exercise, it's creativity, yep. it's, it's definitely, yeah, it, I can see why he would, uh, he would definitely do that. I mean, it, that it basically, see, like, anything, this is, like, if it's an outlet, you use it. And, like, if you guys have mm-hmm. any tips, like, to end this episode, like, if you have any tips for anyone who wants to be a wrestler or use it as that outlet, do you guys have any tips for them? Yes. Um, look for some local schools. There's always, I mean, there's a lot of local schools out there. I wouldn't yeah. say there's one for every major city. Just kind of depends on where you're at and how big the wrestling scene is there. But if it's something that you really want, uh, if there's a will, there's a way, I say. Yeah. So take some training, uh, or maybe even if you don't have a wrestling school, take some MMA mm-hmm. and learn how to translate that. Uh, just find your creative outlet with it. If you want to be a booker, if you want to be a referee and an announcer, there's, a, there's an avenue for everyone, and it's all a stage play. It's all a theater yeah. show. It's, we're all working together to create this thing bigger than any one of us individually. And go in with, uh, with an open mind, and I would have to say this, a little bit of thick skin, because... <laughs> mm-hmm. Wrestling is not regulated. It doesn't mm. have unions or it doesn't have a really much of a, a science behind how you put a federation together. Yeah. Um, so you'll get a lot of different personalities. What I found <laughs> yeah. gratefully, graciously, is that m- the majority, if, if not all of the people I've run into in wrestling, have been so helpful, so nice. They... Uh, they don't exhibit the jock mentality mm-hmm. of, you know, having to haze the new guy. Um, some may do. Yeah. Some do. I mean, it is a very physically driven yeah. and aggressively it's, driven. It's competitive, industry. too. Yeah. It's competitive. It's yeah. very competitive. It's like acting. So, mm. But people want you to be good. Yeah. Because it helps them look good when you're in the ring with them. Mm-hmm. True. So yeah. it's a very mutually beneficial relationship. Just, again, go in with thick skin. Uh Take your lumps, <laughs> Somebody, uh, you know. Take your bumps. Take your bumps and take your lumps. <laughs> but have fun with it. Yeah. it. Again, it is a creative outlet like no other that you can find like no other. And I'm honestly having the most fun I've ever had doing this than anything else. Like this with voiceover together mm-hmm. are my childhood dreams come Aww. true. <laughs> nice. How about you, Derek? Any tips? Yeah. <laughs> Well, first of all, I'm not a wrestler. <laughs> well, yeah, but I mean, but, as a fan. But as a any fan. Of, yeah, where people would want to watch, like anything that you would. Um, so, I guess, um, I guess for me, um, like I haven't been like, um, like keeping it up, um, weekly kind of thing, because um, mm. I've been watching like the pay per views. Um, each oh, each, yeah. each pay per views <laughs> I've been watching, and um. And the way where I can kind of like get the um, kind of cut up to speed is to go to like their YouTube channel. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, because because their YouTube channel really does like kind of like um, give you like like I guess snippets of uh, of the show. Yeah. And the best parts, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just, just as much as I, just really just the okay. best parts, really, and um, like kind of give you like 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 what's going on, kind of thing. This is happening. This person's feuding with this person, kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Because as much as I love wrestling. Like, even if I just want to stick with one federation like WWE, mm-hmm. they're releasing like six hours of content. Wow. A week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Th- because you three have. Three hours of Raw, two hours of SmackDown, an hour of 205 Live, mm-hmm. which you guys should watch because my coach is on. Oh my God, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The Brian Kendrick. The Brian Kendrick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah awesome. the, you, you, you really have to emphasize the 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 the. the, yes. the it's the, Brian Kendrick. It, it's funny because like whenever somebody in training is like, "Hey, are you the Brian Kendrick?" He's like, "I'm a Brian Kendrick." <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. Smart. But yeah, two hundred five live for an hour, and then they have NXT, so like seven, and then now NXT yeah. UK, so like eight yeah. hours wow. a week. There's there's Holy so God. much. There's so much. Sometimes a lot of content is good, but when it's that much, you're like, okay, I'm going to binge watch it or something, (laughs) make a day out of it. Like, yeah. If I had the time, I would, but yeah. Yeah, same here. Uh, Like, like, like nowadays, I only have time to, um, (laughs) to what the pay per views on Sundays. And, um, pretty much. Yeah. And then back to my room editing. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Hopefully, we haven't made it too hard on this one. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. I'm trapped in here for the next 45 minutes. <laughs> oh, 
my god. <laughs> uh, before we go, I do want to give a little bit of a plug, a little bit of self-promotion plug yes. for my Coaches Wrestling Federation. Every month, out of Burbank, California, we run Wrestling Pro Wrestling out of the Moose Lodge. Mm-hmm. You can catch it on Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, where we will film it live to tape and air it the next week. Nice. And cool. it's my Coaches promotion, so... Mm-hmm. Again, the, the the mind of the Brian Kendrick, mm-hmm. yeah. which is a scary place to live in, <laughs> which we do every month. I bet. You can see me wrestle as a... Co- not me. Not me. It's not me in there. Yeah. <laughs> it's a couple of different characters that look and sound like me yeah. when I have to talk to them about uh, copyright infringement. Yeah. <laughs> so keep an eye out for the sassy assassin... <laughs> Sylvester Silverstein from Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. <laughs> nice. And of course, the greatest rival to Ricotta Flair, the man named String. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, that's fantastic. <laughs> so please check it out. Uh, yeah. Wrestling Pro Wrestling. You can find it on Twitch. I think it's. Uh, we'll we'll add the, in the description. We'll have it in the yeah, description. Yeah, you yeah. guys yeah. check it out. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Our next show is going to be on the 29th of March. Mm-hmm. Oh my and god, that's a day a before my birthday. Birthday? Oh, well, I'll be sure to, to wink you a happy birthday to the camera. Here you go. <laughs> yeah. Just do, just do, uh, just do like a like two thumbs up. Yeah, I'll tug my ear. I'll do the Carol Burnett. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. All right. Um, All yes, right. So please keep an eye on that. Yes. And if anybody is interested in wrestling, please don't hesitate to tweet at me. I am always happy yes. to talk about this. Mm-hmm. And I've seen some of the crazy stunts he does, and like just from the snippets, and I'm just like, how are you not in the hospital? <laughs> Thankfully, right. yes. I do not know. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> and we have to just say from now on, leave a comment. Don't die, Eric. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And that's one more thing I will I will add. Anybody who wants to be a wrestler, be careful. Yeah, don't I die. Know it, I know it's tempting to do all the flippy stuff and, <laughs> and make it big and learn the fundamentals, learn your footing, otherwise you're going to end up spraining your ankle on a yeah. bum drag. So. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. So stay safe out there, everybody, if you start mm-hmm. some wrestling. And, yeah, everything that we've talked about was it will be in the description down below. Be sure to leave a comment. Give this a big thumbs up because, you know, we're the ADHD team here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> all right. Sure. So. Oh, Follow All Ages of Geeks. Yep. We, yeah. All ages. It's like All Ages of ADHD. <laughs> yeah. <geeks. laughs> all all right, ADD guys. of Geeks. <laughs> So you keep spreading positivity for geek culture. And as always, he's Eric. And she's Kat. And this this is is Pop Pop Filter. Filter. And as always, stay too sweet.